Hi, my name's John and I absolutely love painting miniatures. That's right, I admit it, I love painting these little things. And the more highly detailed they are, believe it or not, the easier they are to paint and the better they come out. And would you believe this little lady only took, well, just less than an hour. So keep watching to see how easy it was for me to paint this miniature and how easy it will be for you as well. So I 3D printed this miniature on my Anycubic Photon Mono X. Link in the description to where you can get one guys. Absolutely amazing printer, great quality. And I've been using mine for well over a year and have, well, hundreds and hundreds of awesome looking miniatures. And talking of miniatures, I recently got this one from a Kickstarter that started today. But I'll give more details of that in a minute. So the first thing I do with all my, uh, my miniatures that I paint now is prime them in a nice matte black. I use a nice just cheap old uh, spray rattle can one. But obviously you can use whatever you want to use. And yeah, nicely painted in black. And here's the easy part. We now do some dry brushing. Uh, two lots of dry brushing is what I normally do. First one's in a grey. Um, doesn't really matter what kind of grey I guess, but I generally try to use one that's kind of like halfway between black and white. So yeah, dry brush over this. I generally use cheap makeup brushes. And then we dry brush in white. Uh, and that's sort of, well, which that's the hardest bit done. But as you can see, that's probably one of the easiest bits. But to be honest, it doesn't get any harder than this. Ooh, ah, oh, madam. So as I said, this figure actually comes from a Kickstarter out today. Uh, it's Legends of Keepers. And by the time you see this, um, this video, this Kickstarter will be live. Um, awesome looking thing for Dungeons and Dragons, 5e compatible. And yeah, the stuff you get is just amazing. There's a 350 plus uh, page. It's a core setting adventure book. Over 500 hand painted illustrations. Absolutely awesome looking. Uh, as well as obviously loads and loads of figures. There's over 100 gorgeous pre-supported miniatures. Um, 200 um, Stonecraft dungeon terrain tile bits and pieces all you need. And yeah, absolutely awesome looking thing. So link in the de description guys, go check them out. And I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I know I'm certainly not. I've had a few of their miniatures and yeah, absolutely amazing quality. So back to the miniature. They've been primed, dry brushed in grey, dry brushed in white. And now onto the easy other fun part. And that's the painting. And for these, I use Army Painter Speed Paints. Well, I use a variety of paints, but I'll show you the other ones in just a second. Absolutely love the, uh, the Army Painter Speed Paints, as they really do live up to their name. And yeah, they are super fast, super nice. And how they just turn out is just amazing. As you can see, having the, the dry brush underneath certainly helps uh, all the shadows and the highlights. I mean, you can kind of almost get this kind of look just by painting this um, sort of white. But yeah, doing it with the dry brushing just adds that extra sort of layer of, um, well, shadows and highlights. So as you can see, you're using the Army Painter Speed Paint, but I'm also using Citadel Contrast Paints. And the reason for this is, well, I have a whole variety of odds and ends, different kind of paints. Um, some colours I don't have with one brand, but I have with another. Um, yeah, I'm mean, ideally I'd like to have like all the colours from each brand. But at the moment, I've got a few from here, a few from there. Um, but yeah, they all work wonderfully. Some work better than others. Um, sometimes it is a trial and error, as in you might get an orange, but it can come out more reddish. Or I've had yellows that come out orange, and then I've had some blues that, um, well, look pretty pants. So yeah, as well as obviously Army Paint, the Speed Paints, Citadel, you've also got the Green Stuff World. Um, and obviously there are Vallejo ones out there, and well, there's a whole variety of sort of contrast looking paints. Uh, worthwhile sort of seeing which ones you prefer the look of and sometimes price can come in. I do know the Green Stuff World ones are great value for money as they are typically, I think they're, they're about three times the size of the other bottles uh, but it cost about the same. So yeah, definitely value for money and so the Green Stuff World ones, I've only got a few of them but the ones I have got work really really well. So the Legend of Keepers, uh, the Kickstarter, is basically based on the Legend of Keepers video game by Goblin Studio. Uh, funny enough, something I did actually used to play oh, many, many years ago. Um, and obviously the great thing of this sort of um, this campaign book is you can play D&D, but you can play it in a different way. As in, you can be um, taking control of the monsters and you've got to attack and defend your dungeon from those pesky heroes that will obviously steal all your loot and treasure. So it's quite nice being able to play on the other side, which is pretty cool. But yeah, say so look at the miniature, as you can see, very highly detailed. Um, and yeah, this style of painting works even better. The more detailed the miniature is, 
uh, I always find the easier it is to paint and certainly you get better better sort of effects uh, with highly detailed miniatures when using the contrast paints as obviously there's lots of nooks and crannies uh, and shadowy areas so yeah it really makes the shadows sort of stand out more and obviously the highlights look even better so yeah this miniature uh, I would say just under an hour um, that, that doesn't include the painting or the dry brushing and the um, the priming as obviously when you prime a, v a miniature you have to kind of leave it a little while for it to sort of fully dry and the same with the dry brushing when I dry brush with grey I let it dry for a good 5-10 minutes and then I dry brushed with the uh, the white so actually painting the colours that was uh, under the hour uh, obviously there's a few colours I haven't yet got although they are out now uh, I'm going to paint a do 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 let's do some do do's uh, I'm going to paint a do do uh, metallic contrast paints I haven't got hold of them just yet, but I'm hoping to very, very soon. So for the moment, I'm just using normal sort of, uh, sort of gold here. Um, and yeah, so really pleased with how this miniature came out and the time taken. Uh, yeah, definitely not too much, but with great results. And I say all the miniatures they, they do from the Legend of Keepers are this detailed. I've currently got three of them. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more just because I say these miniatures are awesome to look at. Uh, definitely a joy to paint. So using speed paints, contrast paints and all the other varieties out there is certainly a great way of getting your little miniatures tabletop ready in next to no time at all. And the great thing is obviously once you've done that, if you wanted to, you can then go over with normal paints, do more highlighting, more shadows uh, and all the rest of it and obviously use washes where required. So yeah, you don't have to stop just there, but it is say a great way of getting your miniatures to a well I'd say a nice standard I'm certainly pleased with all my miniatures and yeah love them and yeah let's see her in well all her glory If you are into D&D, I would highly recommend checking out the, uh, the Kickstarter Legend of Keepers. As I say, everything they've got is just awesome. The book looks amazing, and say, as you can see from the figures, they are, well, highly detailed is an understatement. They are just beautiful looking things. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Especially if you do join this Kickstarter, guys, let me know. As they have actually made me a specialised miniature hobbyist miniature. Uh, which I believe will be revealed at some stage, well, throughout the Kickstarter. And I certainly can't wait to get my hands on it and paint it and, yeah, show you guys. Okay, guys, yeah, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.